Hi everyone, welcome to Tropical Channel. I'm Marcin and this is... Marcin. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about fish nutrition. Wait, again? Yes, again, it's a very broad subject. Actually, today's episode will be about feeding fish fry and a small fish species. This is indeed a very interesting topic and not an easy one. As a biologist, I'm perfectly aware that feeding fish fry requires, uh, well, a special approach. Uh, you need to pay attention to the frequency of feeding, with what you feed uh, your, your tiny little fish fry, and, well, uh, basically keeping the water parameters at stable levels. That's a thing that you need to pay attention especially. Yes, it's true. Encouraging fish to spawn and getting fry is not so difficult as rearing it. In many species, the fry is so small, so you have to use the special uh, food, um, something like uh, uh, green water or Artemia naupili or even uh, micro nematodes. When you say green water, you mean those tiny little microscopic uh, algaes like chlorophytes, right? Exactly. If you want your fish's offspring to grow healthy, you need to well, provide them with a good quality food. And there's no doubt about it. Tropical offers several types of powdered foods, such as microvit basic and microvit high protein, microvit vegetable, and microvit spirulina, each one dedicated for different group of fish. Yeah, and there is one more very important. I think about the ProDefense Micro. So all together we have a five uh, products. All of them can be used for, especially for the bigger fry. So I think about uh, mollies, guppies, swordtails, or some cichlids. Of course, we can use them also for adolescents uh, fry, like uh, even small species of fish. And note that uh, using these foods, you can also feed uh, some small species of fish, like Nano Rasboras. Yes, exactly. The Nano Aquaristic is very popular now. So in almost in every shop, you can buy some small species of fish, like uh, neo, Neon Tetras or Green neon tetra. Uh, exactly. Uh, or some micro rasboras, uh, like various anglers. So there is, a, there is a lot of species at the moment. Uh, and all of them also can be fed with uh, that products. Okay, coming back to the fish fry. Uh, when your tiny little fish will get slightly bigger, what would you recommend to feed them with? Well, of course, uh, super bit mini flake. It's universal okay. multi-ingredient food. Yes, and Superfit Mini Flakes, uh, it's a new product in our offer and will work great for uh, bigger fry and small fish species. Yeah. Okay, what about granulated foods? Why I'm asking? Because, you know, not all fish are willingly swim to the water surface to feed. You know, there are different types that which prefer to feed in the middle parts of the aquarium or at the bottom of the aquarium? What would you recommend to feed them with? The first of all, if you soak uh, the flakes uh, in water, um, they will sink and just go okay. on, on, in the, on the middle of the tank or on the bottom. You also can use the, the flakes for that. But um, Just like marine aquarists used to do that using yes, fish flakes. Yes, exactly. It's very popular there because the, most of the f fish in, in marine aquarium they doesn't like to eat straight from the surface. Mm -hmm. So we have to use the, that way of feeding. Yeah. Um, on the other hand, uh, when it comes about uh, the granules, I prepare a few products to, sh to show you. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have uh, none of it. Uh, we have uh, ProDefense, of course, mm -hmm. XXS, uh, Superweight Mini Granules and uh, Super Spirina Forte Mini Granules. All right, so these foods give an opportunity 
to fit fish with a different requirements. Yeah, exactly. All right, so let's say spirulina will be a good choice for those herbivorous fish. Exactly. If you have uh, like omnivorous fish, then you choose superfit mini granulate. Yep. And uh, when your fish uh, prefer to have uh, more proteins, animal origin proteins, then you give them nanovit granules, right? Yes, exactly. And basically the pro defense will be working very well for all of these groups. Okay, because of uh, its uh, immune boosting properties. Yes, exactly. All right. And how about tablets? You know, I'm thinking, uh, in our offer there's also nanovit tablets and uh, these tablets, when you put them in the water, they dissolve in tiny little particles which are exactly the size of small fish or fish fry. Yes, in, in this case, um, these tablets are actually, uh, they are different from both the sides. On the one side, it's, uh, it's a roundy tablet, so mm -hmm. you can put it straight uh, to the bottom of the tank. And from the other side, uh, you can just uh, stick it So straight. they're flat. Yeah, yeah. it's a flat and, and you can stick it to the, to the glass so that the food can slowly uh, going dissolve, on a, yeah, okay. dissolve and going on the bottom uh, bottom of your tank. So all of this uh, small fish can actually eat it, even uh, shrimps. But uh, when you're looking on the fry, uh, you know that some of them prefer to, like, like you said before, eat from the bottom, mm -hmm. some from the uh, part of the of the tank. All right, so we have this covered, and you know, guys, I'm going to tell you a secret. Marching is quite experienced breeder. Uh, Martin, tell us a bit more about uh, you. You know your experience as a breeder. Some yeah. Funny th stuff or something. <laughs> yeah, I have a, I have a, a few years of experience. Uh, maybe a bit more than few. Uh, so I, I bred a different species of fish. Uh, I start with live berries. So you know the guppies, mollies, um, anglers. I, I keep them still keep them in my tanks. I heard you have a large collection. How many of those? Mm, about 30 different nice. strains. Yeah, so it's a yeah, it's quite a big collection. Um, yeah, but I was I was breeding uh, cichlid, different cichlids, of course, um, some tetras, some coris, uh, some plecos and betas, of course, or guramis. And uh, when, you, when you're thinking about uh, breeding fish, uh, for me, it's still something really cool. And each species give me something new. So uh, when you're looking on the betas, yeah, and they, they're going to build this, uh, this nest, this nest uh, yeah. with bubbles and uh, just amazing. The same with guramis. Uh, so yeah, so look, they looking really, really cool. And um, some small, uh, small um, shell cichlids uh, mm -hmm. when they live with uh, the babies in, in the side of the of the shell, and sometimes they swimming around. Or even Malawis when they keep the babies inside of the, the mouth. mouth. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like National Geographic to yes, me. Yes, and every every time when you when you when you actually have some fry, you can feel happy with that. And if, when you start your your first tank, you're buying some fish. Uh, a lot of people buying the the libraries, so it's easy to to have some babies there. Yeah. And um, every time when I'm talking with something who is new in the, in, in aquaristic, he's telling me, "Oh, I have a babies now. Yeah, they are That's a fun. how many too." But <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but it's he more managed. than ten before, <laughs> ten all ten which are which he, he bought before. Yeah, so for me, it's always fun uh, having new new species and I think having some some babies, uh, some fry from them. Yeah, I love to listen to this guy. Really, it's like um, very interesting things. Thanks for sharing. No uh, problem, Marcin. From your experience, uh, if you could tell us, you know. What should you avoid during fitting fish fry? Okay, the, the, the common mistakes. Yeah, common mistakes. For sure, too large pieces of food. Uh, 
you have to be sure that the food you put into the tank it's have a proper size, like we mentioned before, with the really tiny fry and with uh, Artemia naupili or microworms. So you have to find the proper uh, proper food. So um, you mean like you know if. Uh, the fish has tiny little mouth and the food is going to be too large, she's not going to be able to eat it? Yes, exactly, exactly. That's a, that's a very common problem. And um, rapid change of water when you overfeed your tank. That's the, also a very important thing. And um, you, you have to check how much of food staying on the bottom of the tank. So if you're feeding your fish after even every day you should clean the, mm -hmm. the bottom of the tank. And Detritus. Yes, exactly. And keep, keep it in mind, don't overfit. Uh, but this is another, another problem. You can give actually not enough food for some of the species. Sometimes they prefer more and more. And that's also the problem because they just can starving. Uh, and um, for me, um, there is, uh, they are actually the, the, the most common mistakes. Um, I think that's it. As you heard, there's a lot of challenges when feeding fish fry. Fortunately, Tropical has uh, over a dozen of different products that will help you to feed your fish in a correct way. Uh, starting from, uh, let's say, powdered foods like mini flakes for the yeah. bigger uh, for the bigger fish fry, and uh, then you get like those uh, granules or even even tablets. Yeah, the offer is very wide, and we can say that for this more than forty five years, tropicals fed a lot of generations of food of fish. And with with our food, uh, and um, it's a I don't know, it's a huge number of fry. Yep, that's quite impressive. Okay, folks, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and if you like it, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next episodes of our videos. See ya. Yep. See you guys. Thanks.